Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage and today I'm going to talk to you about my Mercedes 190E and as you can see it's all lowered and I've been fighting this problem for the past uh, month or so uh, that I wasn't able to install these amazing wheels in the front so my uh, front and rear wheels were mismatched um, and it's because I was missing one of these guys this is a bump stop for your front shock absorbers and this car when I bought it it came with lowering springs and Bilstein shocks but it was missing these bump stops and boots uh, for the shock absorbers but that doesn't matter what matters is these bump stops that you need what they do is they prevent the car from bottom bottoming out and um, this is what I did. I bought these and I already installed one on one side and I test drove the car and it's amazing. It's not rubbing uh, against anything. It's amazing. And uh, I'll show you, you know, the wheel in a second, but I'm really happy with that. And uh, I'm about to reinstall this one on the other side and we should be done for right now. I didn't hit, I didn't even have to use any like spring spacers or anything like that. The only thing is just I had to add these bump stops. So if you have your car that's lowered and it's rubbing in the front or back, make sure you check for these. Make sure they're not missing on your car. All right guys, so this is the part that actually fixed my problem. Uh, I was missing these bump stops on front shock absorbers and that's why whenever I go, I would go over bumps, uh, my shock would just like, my car would just bottom out because these were missing. That's what they're for, just to prevent the bottoming out of the car. And right now, as you can see, I installed this amazing, beautiful wheel in here. And uh, when I shake the car, it doesn't go all the way here and doesn't touch the fender anymore and this gap is bigger right now so I'm really happy about that I'm really happy with the results because before that I would go over like slight bumps and it would just like bottom out or just like rub right here but right now after I added this guy to this side it's awesome it's not doing that anymore All right, guys, so I'm finally done installing these wheels. I'm super excited, you know, but there are a couple of issues that I'm going to talk about really quick in this video before it gets too dark. I'm really so happy, guys. Okay, so I installed those bump stops uh, on the front shock absorbers. And right now the car pretty much doesn't rub, almost doesn't rub, okay? I drove this car, uh, like, all the way to Seattle and back uh, a couple of times already, you know, so I'm really happy. And actually, I, don't, I didn't really have many issues, you know. Uh, the only issues that I had was um like when you go like it doesn't really rub you know but like when you go over like like let's say you go downhill right and then it becomes the rub becomes like you know let's say you ha you're going down steep hill and then um you know the road becomes all of a sudden like uh you know there's a transition from that down steep hill to uh, a straight road and it's a smooth transition so when the car goes like this and it goes like that it basically starts rubbing you know so it rubs actually on the on my fenders a little bit and on, on the bumper you know but it happens kind of rarely you know it also depends on what you know how fast you're going and all that stuff you know but if you're going slow through that and it's not a big of a deal it doesn't actually like rub or anything it doesn't do all that stuff and uh yeah other than that i'm really happy you know i'm not sure i think i'm you know i'm not just gonna leave it like this i'm also gonna install or order you know um uh, rubber spring pads with like four dots uh, those are gonna actually you know uh make it maybe even like a little more like taller in the front you know maybe just gonna we're gonna increase the clearance a little bit maybe more so just to prevent those 
uh, you know, they're just to like eliminate that rubbing. But other than that, it pretty much like, like I said, doesn't rub pretty much almost. Uh, the only thing is, like I said, when you go over those, like, like some like waves, you know, some wavy roads, then it can actually start, you know, going crazy. It can start like rubbing here and there, you know. But other than that, like, you know, it doesn't really rub, doesn't give me any issues. I've been driving like this for the, you know, past week. So I'm pretty happy now. Let me know, let me know what you guys think about these wheels. And um, yeah, leave your comments down below. I really love these wheels so much. Um, and uh, yeah, I know I'm gonna, you know, have uh, negative camber wear and issues with tires, uh, you know, but it is what it is. As of right now, I really love the way it looks. Um, and you know, this car is pretty noticeable. <laughs> it's probably the only one here in Whitby Island but i really love it so much you know and i'm gonna keep working on it you know i've been doing so much stuff and so much work on this car for the past two months um yeah we're gonna bring it back i'm gonna make this 190 great again as you can see there's a tape uh right here where the lock cylinder is that's because i need to order a brand new um lock cylinder for the driver's side because the old one is just busted uh it's not working uh, it's actually the the aluminum piece broke off um so i'll show it to you later it's gonna be probably a, another video but other than that i really love this car of course you know paint job is what this car needs um like crazy um and as soon as the paint job is done i'm pretty sure that this car will look amazing um so yeah guys uh love your classic mercedes um don't neglect your classic mercedes uh, get out there uh, get your hands dirty and start working on uh, your classic Mercedes or another classic car that you have um, And yeah, don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel Let me know your comments and you can always reach me on social media The links are going to be down below and if you enjoy my content if you enjoy my videos uh, you know consider subscribing and also uh, You know, I'd really appreciate it if you can become my uh, patron uh, that way uh, you know, it's, it's it's not easy for me to actually, you know, live my life and just, you know, go to work and then also, you know, work on cars and make videos. You know, it's kind of it's kind of difficult, you know, uh, sometimes I stay until like 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. just to, uh, you know, edit videos for you guys so you can enjoy those videos and watch them. So um, anyways, thank you so much, guys. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you for all your support and all your love and you know share my videos with your friends you know let's convince more people to love classic mercedes and uh, um yeah i'll see you in the next one um save old school cars bye bye Open the cap. Yeah. Open that up. Let it drain. Are you draining already? Not yet. No. Ooh. It's gonna be an explosion right now. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Whoa, shit. you see, I told you.
Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. We're gonna go start it right now. Okay. Alright, turn it off. My GoPro. That's like at the max right now. Awesome. So what I was telling you is when the engine was running actually, your crankshaft pulley was wobbling so you will have to replace your crankshaft pulley which is all the way on the bottom there. Uh, it's a pretty common issue so... I can show it to you if you want. I mean, you can start the the engine and then, uh, yeah, just start it up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You see on the bottom, like all the way in the bottom, that pulley right there. See how it's wobbling? The big pulley, the biggest mm -hmm. one. Yeah. On the bottom. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. See how it's doing good? Yeah. Well, that needs to be replaced. If you don't replace it, what can happen is going to start getting worse and then when you drive it can just let off. It can destroy like your radiator and everything. Yeah. 